welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my first update for the most magical pan on earth. This is a fantastic ladies collab. So of course everyone that has joined in, they are going to be listed on the spreadsheet down below. It was created by Ariana Bello. She is also going to be listed down below if you want to go check her out. And the dates on this are from January 21 to October 1. And, um, it is all about Disney. I love Disney. And, um, of course, I'm going to do a Disney painting project if there's one available and I can fit it into my schedule. So this is 10 prompts that she came up with. Each of the prompts we needed to pick a product for. So I did that in my intro. If you missed that, um, definitely check out the um, intro video. I have a playlist for each one of my painting projects um, so that it is all together. If you want to like binge watch and see intros and updates and stuff like that, it's just something I've done for years. And, um, so I have one for this as well. Um, let's get into it. The prompt I'm going to do in order of prompt and some things I have, um, no usage, some things I have decent usage and some things I have, you know, maybe finished. We'll see. Let's get into it. First prompt is Cinderella's Castle, and that is a blue or a gray product. And I chose the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara in Blue Your Mind. I have no way to track progress on this. I have used it a few times since the last update. It is still going. Like, all of the writing is starting to wear off of it. That's just the way it is, I guess. Um, I'm enjoying it. It's still working. It's probably going to be hanging out most of the year if not all of the year. I don't know if I can get it done in time because blue is not one of those that I wear like all the time. I, I'm a black mascara or like recently I just got a brown black, which I do like for my kind of no makeup makeup days, but um, blue, it, it's fun. So we'll, we'll just see how she goes. The next one is a favorite ride and that is a product that reminds you of your favorite ride or product. And of course, um, my favorite was my favorite since I was a little girl. It's a small world. I've loved it. I am now going to have the song stuck in my head, but I, there's just something about that ride. It's classic. It is totally classic. It is catchy. Yeah, it's a little bit outdated, but I don't know. It, there's the nostalgia to it. So um, I chose, because it, it's a small world, a very small product. This is the Sephora Lip Stain, and this is in the color Pink Tea. Um, I wanna say I use this a few times a week, and um, I, I don't have any progress on it right now. Like it's so small. I don't know that we're going to see a whole lot of windowing until it's time to take the stopper out. But this is a permanent fixture in my weekly makeup baskets so that um, if I'm feeling this color, I absolutely pull this out and um, I'm able to use it. And it's just it's going to stay in my makeup basket until it's done. The next one for number three is um, Mickey or Mini Ears. It's a product. Um, a product colored based on your favorite pair of ears. I like the classics. I like the traditional Mickey or mini ears, the, the black ones. And um, so I chose something that has black on the product. This is the Erno Laszlo Hydrotherapy Cleansing Oil. I haven't touched it. I have two other um, face cleaners, uh, face cleansers that I've been working on in, t in another project, plus another one that I haven't even opened yet in another project. So yeah, I just, I have not gotten to this one yet. I do actually like it, but um, it's kind of backburnered right now while I'm working on the other ones that are open and, you know, in progress. And they were before um, this intro, at least one of them was. Um, the next is number four, it's Lost But Not Forgotten. It's a product that you love. Oh, a product you love that is no longer sold or a ride that is no longer in the park. All right, I had to like read the tiny little font there on my spreadsheet. Uh, that is the Ulta Matte Makeup Setting Spray. I love this. They no longer sell this formula at Ulta. They have reformulated, repackaged, and everything else. So um, that is, this makes me sad that they don't have this anymore. I have not started using it because I just started using one in another project. I will finish that one before I start on this one. And at first I wasn't sure which projects were which. So I decided to, I don't know if you can see that. I did a little um, mouse right there on the cap. So I remember which project it's in. Yes, I'm a dork. I know, but it is what it is. Moving on to number five, Long Lines. It's a product that is going to take you a while to pan. I haven't even started on it. So that tells you how long it's going to take me to pan. Um, this is Bare Minerals 
um, mineral foundation in medium tan look at the color on that i need to be like at my darkest in the summer to even use that and still i'm gonna need to franken it i actually used to get this color i used to spend a lot of time outside without sunscreen i would go to a tanning bed i would do all sorts of things and um like i don't do that anymore so this this is gonna take me a hot minute so it's not even going to be started until the weather warms up a little bit and your girl is freezing her booty off right now there's snow on the ground it is what it is what are you going to do all right moving on to number six fast pass i mean who doesn't love the fast pass it's a product that's going to take no time to pan guess what that's my empty <laughs> of course it's my empty it is from the coastal sense 88 palette it is the shade f11 which was like kind of a yellowy matte brown and um let's see here it is or here it was that shade right there i used it some like as it was and i also franken some that franken is gone and um it's out of here so i have one product done for this yay i'm very excited about that and next it's number seven um yeah it's a small world because um I have to be repetitive, apparently. A product that you love or a product that you can't stand. And mine is both. <laughs> mine is both. Um, it's Bare Minerals Mineral Veil, but it is the Feather Light Formula. I absolutely love Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I do not like the Feather Light because it's shimmery. And I'm an oily girl. I don't need any extra shimmer or glow on this face. So um, I've actually been frankening it with a powder that's too dark as well as rice powder to kind of tone it down a little bit. It's been working for me that way. So um, yeah, it's a love-hate with that one. Next is Main Street USA, which is right when you walk into the park. Um, this is a product with great packaging for a first impression. That is this. This is the Bay Body Retinol Moisturizer. I love the packaging. This makes my life easy at night when I'm doing my skincare. It has like this um, pump right here. It is one of those airless pumps so it, the product lifts up. But like you pump it and just the right amount comes on the top. You just swipe. You don't have to like worry about pumps clogging up or anything like that. And when um, the the airless pump goes to the top and I do actually have to reach into like to get the tiniest little bit that the pump can't get. It's going to be like so shallow and easy to get into. Like I really think when this is gone, I'm going to clean out and repurpose this packaging for all of my moisturizers because I love it. I love it. And I mix tea tree into all of my moisturizers because my skin just loves tea tree oil. And it was really easy to mix into this one. So yeah, that packaging is a, like a win-win for me. All right, moving on to number nine, Fireworks. That's a sparkly product. I haven't touched it. This is After Party from ColourPop. It is their glitter gel. Super pretty. I just, I just haven't used it because I'm a slacker, apparently. There's plenty of things in here I haven't touched, like this next one. For number 10, it is the Monorail, and it is a cream-colored product, and that is um, a cream concealer. It is cream colored, it is cream textured, it is cream, 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 cream. And um, yeah, I haven't used it because I'm working on one from the same depotted palette that is a little bit lighter, which is more appropriate for me to use when my skin is a little bit more pale. That is everything for this update. Um, this is not a rolling project, so I will not be rolling in anything for the eyeshadow that I had finished, but um, I am happy that I have one of 10 done go me. And uh, yeah, that is everything. Definitely check everyone out down below. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.